Coming up next on Largo V News, Largo police help us gear up for another school year. The Largo Community Center shows you how to cook like a pro, and we're hanging out at the Largo Golf Course. Don't you go anywhere. Largo V News starts right now. Hey there and welcome to Largo V News. I'm Brandon Graham. Thank you for joining us. Largo V News is your City of Largo video newsletter delivered right to your email inbox with our various e-newsletters and also available on Largo TV and the web as well. We're here to keep you in the know and on the go with programs and events happening in Largo. So let's get started. First on V News, Largo was proud to welcome Florida Governor Rick Scott in July. Governor Scott was joined by Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll and other distinguished guests at the Armed Forces Military Museum where he signed four bills aimed at benefiting veterans. The city of Largo would like to thank Governor Scott and all who attended that great event. In other news, the 4th of July celebration at Largo Central Park was a huge success. Thousands upon thousands gathered for family fun and fantastic fireworks. Special thanks goes out to our sponsors, Hampton Inn & Suites, as well as the Holiday Inn Express and & Suites. And there will be more video highlights from the 4th of July celebration later in our In Case You Missed It segment. Well, it's that time of year again when school is back in session and big yellow buses, bus stops, and active school zones are once again part of our daily commutes. Largo police want to remind us to slow down and take some extra precautions around those areas. What you need to think about when you're approaching the school zone, when you see that flashing yellow light, begin to reduce your speed as you approach it and you need to be going the specified speed of that school zone at the time you pass that sign. What Most of them are 15 miles an hour in Pinellas County. And you continue with the 15 mile an hour speed all the way through till you reach the end school zone sign. The biggest thing to keep an eye out is when the flashing yellow lights begin to activate on the school bus, it's gonna be treated the same way as a stop light. The flashing lights are gonna activate, and then the red lights are going to activate. In addition, there's going to be stop arms on the driver's side of the bus that are going to extend out with the stop signs that notice you that you have to come to a full and complete stop and you cannot pass that bus at that point. Another thing is for pedestrian safety. If you're going to have your child walk to school, make sure they know the proper route to take. Make sure they know they need to cross in the marked crosswalks. If there's a crossing guard at their uh, point where they're going to cross the road, cross where the crossing guard is and wait till they tell them it's safe to cross the road. We will be out there. Um, we're out there for the safety of the kids. Like I said, the school bus stops take an extra 15 to 30 seconds out of your commute. When school starts, you need to factor that in and if you need to leave an extra five minutes early in the morning to safely make it to your work or place of employment, then that's what you're going to need to do because we will be out there. And also remember to always buckle yourself and your passengers when getting on the road. We certainly hope you and your family have a safe and happy school year. Are you a Food Network fan or do you just love to cook? Well, the Largo Community Center has just the thing for you. It's the Creative Cooking Show where you'll be entertained and taught how to make your own scrumptious meals. It teaches people in about an hour and a half or less how to cook unbelievable meals once a month. They get to see hands-on, all this cutting all his prep work, uh, give people a little bit more intimacy, you know, a little close encounter, uh, really lets to show them how to uh, chefs really cook, their knife skills. Uh, he's interactive. Each meal that the patrons learn how to make, they do get to actually have a full meal of it from appetizer, entree, and dessert. So they get to taste everything that they just learned how to make, and then they get to take home the recipe and any leftovers that they haven't eaten during that day. So, and we try to use all the freshest ingredients. We have a lemon and lime tree out in our backyard. So we try to use all the fresh ingredients from local businesses around the area to what we have in our garden in the back. Now the classes are once per month and there is a cost and you do have to pre-register. So call 727-518-3131 or visit playlargo.com for more information. 
So it's a beautiful sunshiny day and you're wondering what to do with this gorgeous weather. Well, may we suggest that you run, don't walk, to the Largo Golf Course where leagues, specials, and events are happening all the time. It's a beautiful place. It's the Par 62 Golf Course. It's 3,300 yards. Uh, we have actually, in the summertime, we have some leagues and some tournaments that we're hosting. Uh, during the week, we have af after um, afternoon leagues starting at 6 p.m. On Tuesdays, our women league. Uh, intermediate, beginner golfers, welcome. We have a good time. We go on the course. We have some prize holes. Uh, we come in for a drink or something to eat in our cafe afterwards, and that's Tuesday. Wednesday, we have our pub league which is all the local bars and the businesses in the area uh, come together and their patrons and their employees come and play in that league. Uh, it's about 40 strong. It's growing. We play that on Wednesday at 6 p.m. and also Saturday at 10 a.m. So there's two days for the pub league. It's growing. And also we're trying this new league. It's called the Social League, which is uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We have people from all over the place. We have a lot of people from our athletic department playing in uh, our social league. We're having cornhole game um, with the bean bags, a lot of fun in the cafe, live music. Uh, we got the best special in town. We have an afternoon special. Afternoon, two golfers, $32, and it also includes a hot dog. It includes an electric cart, or you can walk if you'd like. Can't beat it. We got a beautiful day, beautiful weather. Come on out here to the Largo Golf Course. Now you can check out the Largo Golf Course online at largogolf.com, and there you can get all the info you need on leagues, operating hours, and even reserve your tee time. And for those of you on Facebook, you can connect with the Largo Golf Course there as well. Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes, or rather under the ground, with your Largo sewer system? Seen workers out with one of those big, huge trucks and wondered, what are they up to? Well, I went out to our wastewater treatment plant and got answers to a few frequently asked questions. This is a sewer cleaning truck. This used for uh, this hose up here in the front is used hydraulically with water pressure. The water pressure shoots the hose up a through a manhole into a pipeline, goes up to the next manhole, and then he pulls it back with hydraulics. And as it's pulling it back, it's washing the pipeline out, getting all that dirt out of the pipe, though, which takes up our capacity, it impedes the flow of the pipe. And uh, the guys, once he pulls the dirt into the manhole, he sucks it out with this other hose, and then he puts it into the debris tank, brings it back to the wastewater treatment facility, dumps it, takes it to the landfill. And we have pan and tilt cameras, state-of-the-art equipment, where we can look up the lateral, we can look all around each joint of the pipe, what kind of condition it is. You know, back in the day when Largo uh, infrastructure was installed, uh, what they did was use vetrified clay pipe, which was a great product. But over time, the joints start leaking. It gets cracked with the structural loading on it. And uh, we go in there and we see a pipe that's cracked and is in bad shape. We just we turn it over to our engineering department, which in turn has a contractor come out in either inversion line or thermal plastic line. And that's where they just slip uh, a new pipe inside of the old pipe. They inflate it. And voila, you have a brand new pipe in a matter of just a couple hours without having to disrupt traffic, without having to dig up. So, you know, we're paying on an eight inch pipeline, you know, 26, 30 bucks a foot. If you dug it up, it's a few hundred bucks a foot. If you want to learn more about environmental services, be sure to check out Largo.com and stay tuned to future episodes of Largo V News where we might just get some more answers to some of your frequently asked sewer system questions. Well, those are the headlines for this month's Largo V News. This month's In Case You Missed It features, as promised, highlights from the 4th of July celebration at Largo Central Park and the Highland Family Aquatic Center Itty Bitty Pool Party. Thanks for being with us and thanks for being a subscriber of Largo E! News. Now, if you're catching this somewhere else and you're not yet receiving Largo E! Newsletters, signing up is easy. Just visit Largo.com and click on the Sign Up for E! Newsletters link. Thanks again for watching Largo V News. We'll see you next time.